and ladies and gentlemen, I have the best news ever for business users. Let me show you. So they just released these and I'm so excited. Here's the thing, you can now open Power BI reports directly on SharePoint on OneDrive. So I'm here on SharePoint, I have a Power BI report, I haven't done any specific setting on anything and in a second it's going to open. This is so cool. <laughs> Why am I so excited? Well, here's the thing. I think Power BI service is too complex for business users. There are too many clicks, there are too many icons, there are too many things. They're, they're mixing developer environment together with users and it's just too complicated. So the fact that you can put a Power BI report anywhere and just open it and it opens. Yes, yes, <laughs> this is definitely what is needed. Okay, so what is required? Here is what the little but comes and I hope they reconsider this. If you're an admin, you need to do absolutely nothing. It's already enabled by default, so just take a coffee and relax. Now, you as a user need to have a few things. Number one, you need to be signing into SharePoint or OneDrive. Number two, you need to obviously have access to the file, at least read access. Number three, and here's where the but is. There's always a but. <laughs> Why is that? You need to have a pro license. And you're probably going to tell me like, Ruth, obviously pro license. You always need a pro license. Well, not really. If you have a premium capacity or fabric capacity, what they are called today, you actually, you know, as a free user, you can be reports. Well, this type of reports, you cannot why? Like, why? They have to reconsider this. So free users won't be able to see, to open the reports. It's such a shame. And it doesn't work with personal OneDrive, which I completely understand. That's fine. Power BI files can view with a size limit up to one gigabyte. Fine. See, if you are a free user, you're not able to access this. Such a shame. So what this basically means is for big companies, this probably will not apply because they do have a fabric license and most users are probably on a free license. Uh, hopefully they will reconsider, but for those of you that have pro, yay, we made it. I'll see you again in the next one. Bye.